Hey guys, and welcome to episode 20 of the Wexford Youth Project here on Fulton Manager 2014. Join you back on the 24th of July 2019 for a big live commentary. Uh, but I'll take you to the fixtures since you last saw us, which was the Sligo game up here at the top, which was a 1 1 draw where I got a bit mad because we uh, missed a lot of clear cut opportunities. Then we went on to beat St. Pat's 3 0, Darius Murphy, Jamie Carr, and Barry Early. We beat Salt Hill 5 0, Barry Early with 2, Jay Tab, Rishi Breen, and Darius Murphy. Beat Finn Harps 3 1, Darius Murphy with 2, Barry Early. Beat Bohemians 4 1, Al Dunphy with 3, Darius Murphy with 1. Beat Limerick 4 1, Al Dunphy with 2, Darius Murphy and Fred Mead. Beat Eden Derry 3 1, Marty Mullins, Barry Early, and Samuel Effiong. Lost 1 0 to Drada, lost 1 0 to Finn Harps. Drew 1 1 with Derry, Jamie Carr. Drew 1 1 with Shamrock Rovers, Barry Early. Beat Limerick 2-1, Sean Coyne and Barry Early. Beat Dundalk 3-0, Samuel Effiong, Fred Mead and Gary Irvine. Beat Cork 4-2, two, 2 for Dunphy, 1 for Early and 1 for Jamie Carr. And then we headed into the big game. The Champions Cup, second qualifying round, first leg against Red Star Belgrade. And we won the game 3-0 at home. And this will be the um, live commentary, the away leg today. Uh, Samuel Effingham, Fred Mead and Barry Early all getting goals in a fantastic 3-0 victory. And then we went on to beat Sligo 1-0 uh, midweek. Uh, Darius Murphy getting the only goal of the game on the 58th minute. Anyway, though, we will now head in to the live commentary, I think. I will just have a look at the league table first. We are in first after 22 games, 46 points. Uh, Pats are in second with 44. Dundalk on 43, but with a game in hand, so they could go level with us. But we do have a far superior goal difference. Now the team have gone for today, we are a bit uh, fatigued, but the team is going to be O'Donnell, Coyne, Bloomfield, O'Connor and Irvine, Cantwell, Mead, Tab, Dunphy, Doyle and Effie. Actually I'm going to go for uh, Early, because he's been banging him in as of late. And we'll switch him with Effie on. As you can do, Barry Early now, he's up to 9 goals in all competitions, really progressing nicely as a player. Despite not having great stats, you know. Uh, what about uh, Darius Murphy? He's still knackered, I think. He's just come back from an injury, so that's the reason why. He's missing out on today's performance. But I'm hoping that if we get it through to the next round, he can be that man that can help us. Here's coin. Like 3-0 up going into this leg. Like I really have to hope that our team... Could be able there. It's Kovic. We've got a freaking in a dangerous area though here. Maybe Yala Dunphy. He is a bit of a dead ball specialist. Oh, he's put one in. Yala Dunphy's done it. And that's the away goal as well. We are 4 0 up on aggregate now. And. God. We are almost through. We've got one hand on the next round. Red Star Belgrade. I thought when we drew Red Star Belgrade, we were fucked. No, I'm being honest. Like, I really thought we were fucked. So I thought they were really good. Oh, no. Puzik Puzika. Fred Mead does well. J-Tab. Go on. Go on. <gasps> oh. Very early a bit. Heh. <laughs> Lackadaisical there. Here he is again. With coin. Oh, sloppy. Sloppy coin. Mead. Dunphy, Effion, go on. Ah, poor enough effort in the end. Decent though, um, shot. Or def decent move even. It was a poor shot. Um, but good move. By ourselves, we're really playing lovely football at the moment. Um, is Vel Velasovojic? <laughs> O'Donnell with a good save though. <laughs> so uh, he doesn't get himself on the score sheet, which is good because I can't pronounce the name. As you can see here, with the likes of J Tab playing, I'm really opting for experience uh, rather than playing Richie Breen, who can be a bit all over the place in these big games. He seems to always get sent off in the big games. <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with him, but whenever we play in a semi final or something, even over here in Ireland, he always gets sent off. So, like, I know he's a bit of a dirty player, but he always seems to get sent off in the big games. He never gets sent off in the small games. Anyway. Approaching the hour mark. Oh, well, still five minutes to the hour mark here, but Jemina, Ilinich, Kovic, O'Connor does well. 
Get that second ball, Fred. Oh, hard luck. Kovic. Ilunsic. <gasps> Get it out. Fred Mead does well. Oh. Oi. Fred Mead. Dunphy. Put him through. Effie Young. Tab. Dunphy. Beautiful football. And Dunphy's missed it. God. Another really flowing move, though. And we are playing some slick football at the moment. 57% of possession away from home in the Champions League. Like, what What a day this is. Like, what a really good professional performance this has been so far. Here's Jay Tapp. Maybe Fred Mead. False to Effie Young. How did he miss that? I will never know. That was a real guilt edge opportunity. And we're still up to our old tricks of missing clear-cut chances here, but... Good thing that it doesn't really matter because we are 4 0 up on aggregate, and I did not mean to do that. <laughs> 20 minutes to go now. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Get it out. Oh, Velis Velikovic. That's what I'm going to say his name is. He's missed his hitter there. And the Red Star fans are heading for the exits already. That pretty much sums up what's happened there, because they were favourites going into this like going into this tie. They were odds-on favourites. Velas over Jadamina, and they've scored a goal there. It's a bit of a shame we couldn't hold out for a clean sheet, but no worries. Um, <laughs> we're going through unless they score four goals in the next five minutes. Go on, Fred. Go on. I'd love to get the win early. No. O'Connor, oh, well played. Effiong, Mead. It's a poor enough ball there by Fred Mead, and we could end up costing ourselves with the match. Harjovic. Pejanovic. Jemina, he scored his second of the game, and he's put them ahead on the night, 2 1, but just got to make sure we don't concede three. Oh no. Got to contain. <laughs> Not taking any risks. Coin. Oh my god. Dunphy. Oh, for fuck's sake. What is that? Hallad. See ya. Jim oh, go on, Effie. Go on. What a chip pass that is. Coin though, J Tab. Maybe another chance. Good ball early. Another clear cut chance missed. Seems to be the story of our season, clear-cut chances. Um, but anyway, it does look like we are advancing to the next round. Which means, uh, if you don't know, once you get into the third qualifying round, that does mean that even if we lose that, we will head into the Europa League playoff round, which means we only need to win kind of one aggregate, one aggregate win to get ourselves over the line. Who will we play? We have drawn Dynamo. Yeah, I remember that now. We're playing Dynamo. <laughs> we have Luka Modric. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, let's have a look at their squad. Actually, though, any big players? This guy looks a bit of a beast. Hungarian international, only 19 years old. Anyway, the next live commentary will be that game. The first leg of that. So that's only in a week's time. In game. I'll be showing you the first leg and second leg, no matter what the result is, because I'm feeling generous, and it's a big game, big game, see, so, anyway, I'll see you guys next, in the next episode for that, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and subscribe to the channel, I'll see you guys later, bye.